Hello, it's Mike coming at you with a little customizing I did today. I ain't quite finished with it, but um, I wanted to kind of show what I did. This is the Matchbox Convoy rig, the log hauler. Uh, the log hauler came with only five logs and it just didn't look right. So I bought another one and then another one. So I could take the logs and put the, all the logs on one load. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some little chain and I'm going to put it around it and fix it on there where it's all binded down. But there's the extra trailers and the clips. They just snap in place. I, done took, I took the clips off this one just to show that they are removable. I don't know what I'll do with these two trailers yet. Might get some log. I, I might. I might get some sticks off of a pine tree, small ones, and fill, fill these up with some real wood. I, maybe I don't know. But anyway, there's the load of logs. Anyway, the custom part I did. Back to this. As you'll see, this is a four-tire truck. Well. I bought a white one, and I cut the back end off, and I was going to put it on the back of the blue one and make it a six-wheeler. But guess what? The tires on this white one are different. So I took one of the blue ones, and I cut the back end off. Yeah, cut the back end off of a blue one, and I put it on the blue one, uh, the third blue one, and made a custom six-wheeler. Yeah. And so anyway, after cutting the white one, and it was the wrong size, I went ahead and trimmed out the back end on another white one, and took the piece and went ahead, and I built a second custom second custom of a six-wheeler i'm trying to let's see get a little bit closer anyway there is the six-wheel forward yeah uh whenever they whenever the jb weld gets all good and hard there on it and dry it out i'll be able to do a little scraping on it make sure everything's good shape paint it black and same with the blue one and yeah i don't know what i'll do with these don't know what i'll do with these i guess i'll just put them in the scrap pile somebody might come along there might need them i don't know but anyway the load of logs let's see if we can get it on here there we go. There's the load of logs. Yeah. Anyhow, that was my custom custom work I did today. Uh, Toad Fex Deft, I was going to uh, customize one there. I think it turned out, turned out pretty good there. And also on these things... I took and I cut the little 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 blade thing off the back of one of these just to see what it looked like without it. So there is one without the little blade on the back. And I might have I think I might have bent the axle when I was cutting on this one. But it ain't nothing to fix probably. Well, I did bend the axle prying with the knife cutting it but anyway it's just plastic got into the rivet but i ain't worried about it i got still got this one and one more being i got three blues and three trucks so it came with three of those and then there's the little uh little blade i cut off yeah cut my finger a time or two and there's my JB weld. I just mixed it up on cardboard and then used toothpicks to apply it. And uh, that was what was left. I'm going to have to get me some new JB weld this year. These, these, uh, I done about 
the, but the, about use these uh, JB Weld packages up. And there's my package of toothpicks for applying the stuff. But yeah. And shoot, these little things here, they just snap into place. Just snaps right on down in there. Or just sticks in there, really. Uh, it's supposed to clip, but uh, I don't think they clip very well. I don't know. But anyway, they are removable. I might turn this one into a flatbed hollow bulldozer or a road grader or something. Who knows? But anyhow, that's my little, like I said, that's my little uh, customizing in progress. So I'm going to get on out of here. We'll catch y'all a little bit later. It's Mike, and I'm gone.